welcome back. Today we'll be reading Splat the Cat and the Hot Shot. Splat was late for Cat Scouts. The troop met at four on the dot. Splat threw on his scout scarf. He tried to tie a knot as he shot out the house. Splat, you're here, said Mr. Mott, the troop leader. We thought you forgot. Meet our new scout, Scott, said Mr. Mott. Scott looked like one cool cat. Splat, I can help you with your knot, said Scott. Scott tied Splat's knot perfectly. Thanks, Scott, said Splat. In fact, Scott could tie a lot of knots. Splat, Splat could not. The scouts worked on fire building. Scott's fire was good and hot. Splat's was not. Splat wished he had Scott scout skills. Okay, scouts, said Mr. Mott. Tomorrow is our big hike. Let's plot it out on a map. I've hiked this trail a lot, said Scott. This is a great spot. Back at home, Splat said, Mom, there's a new scout. He's very cool. His name is Scott. He helped me with my knots. I think he's a hot shot. Splat smiled. I cannot wait to hike with Scott, he said. The next day, Splat got ready. What would Scott bring, he said. Splat did not know, so he packed a lot. When the scouts set off on the hike, Splat walked right behind Scott. Soon, it was time to stop for lunch. The scouts got wood for the campfire. Some scouts got twigs. Some scouts got rocks. I brought soup, said Mr. Mott. Have you got the crock pot or the cook pot, Scott? Scott looked in his pack. Oops, said Scott. I forgot. The other scouts moaned. We can't eat soup without a pot to make it hot, said Plank. Splat stepped forward. I bought a pot, he said. I also brought some apricots. We can eat them while the soup gets hot. Well done, Splat, said Mr. Mott. On the hike back, Scott led the way across a long bridge. Splat trotted along behind him. With each step, the log shook a lot. And there was a slippery spot where it was starting to rot. Splat saw it, but Scott did not. He was busy with some bugs. Swat! Look out, Scott! Said Splat. It was too late. Scott fell into the mud. Everyone tried to help Scott out, but they could not reach far enough. Luckily, Splat had a rope. He tossed one in right to Scott. Good shot, Splat, said Scott. Splat tugged on the rope. He pulled with all his might. The rope started to move. Scott went up and Splat went down. Splat. 
Splat didn't mind the mud. He had helped Scott. The scouts rinsed them off. Thanks, Splat, said Scott. I wish I was prepared as you. Great teamwork, scouts, said Mr. Mott. And Splat, you are one prepared cat scout. All these things you brought really hit the spot. Why don't you lead us home? And Splat did. The end. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.